okay uh, so uh, thank you for logging in all of you you can also catch us on uh, youtube and uh, i'm dr saurabh zoshi founder of the vein center and i would uh, start by giving a brief introduction to what do we do at the vein center okay uh, so uh, thank you for logging in all of you you can also So at the Vein Center, we provide world-class intervention radiology care. And our core values are empathy, efficiency, and innovation. We provide the uh, world-class innovative techniques of treatments for diseases without the least possible intervention or the cutting or stitching. We have our various consultants based all out of uh, all out of the country. I am Dr. Saurabh Zoshi, based in Mumbai. We have doctors in Pune, Bangalore. Chandigarh and Coimbatore also. All our doctors are postdoctorates from various uh, major universities in India and uh, centers all, all across India. And there are a lot of people behind the scenes who help us perform our duties and uh, make it easy for the patients to connect to us. Uh, I am especially proud to show off our award wall. These are awards from various uh, places in the world, Berlin and Zurich, London, uh, and various papers from, from all over the world, research papers at various insure, various uh, conferences. So these are some uh, achievements. We are the Asia's uh, number one provider for vena seal non-thermal ablation for varicose veins. So we were recognized for our uh, breakthrough discovery of new sclerotherapy technique at the Global Embolization Symposium in New York. Uh, this is our world class headquarters in uh, Khar West, SV Road, Mumbai. You can see there is the veins on the floor. This is dedicated only to treat varicose veins. And we do our own ultrasounds. Uh, as you can see, each of our centers has their own uh, sonography machines over there. So when the patient comes for OPD consultation, uh, we do our scans right there. This is the world-class uh, OT room and a few of our rooms. So we have a patient first approach and uh, barring emergencies, we uh, try to keep almost no wait time for our patients. We also offer free pickup and drop uh, facilities for OPD consultations for our patients. This is across India in association with our uh, uh, partners Uber and Ola. And uh, we also have cashless as most of our places. So I'm going to start uh, showing about, uh, explaining about the varicose veins, the core topic today. And uh, here we go. So uh, how do we treat varicose veins with the least invasive method? The treatment is called vena seal. First, we'll have a quick overview of what are varicose veins. So varicose veins are these bulging veins on the legs which cause swelling, skin darkening, and even open wounds. So these open wounds take a very long time to heal. And uh, why is this so? The valves inside the veins, they stop functioning properly. And uh, this causes blood to accumulate in the veins. People who are uh, typically patients are over the age of 40 years of age. And uh, those who have to stand for a long time, uh, women with for, over 40 with two or more than two children, people with previous leg injuries like fractures or bone surgeries, uh, people who have a hereditary component or obese are more likely to get this. So uh, there are 10 million new cases a year for varicose veins in India. This is uh, for you to get an idea. This is 10 times more common than cataract. Cataract is almost, uh, uh, we know someone in our family who's been operated for cataract. Varicose veins is 10 times as common. So you can imagine how many patients are there without actually getting the help that they need. So why is this a big issue? And there are going to be some scary pictures coming up. I do not want to scare you. It is more to make you aware. Varicose veins is the number one cause of non-healing wounds in the elderly. I personally specialize in treating patients over the age of 80 years of age. But uh, these are some uh, wounds which are commonly seen in the elderly and they don't know what to do. This is a really pitiful situation to have our elderly people who are at the, at the golden years of their life having feet like this. And uh, just to make you aware, India is the capital 
of non-healing venous ulcers in the world. Most number of people with non-healing wounds in the world are in India. That's not a very good uh, title to have. And uh, we are trying to do our bit where, uh, where we can change this. So varicose veins have various challenges to treat. Most patients uh, still go for homeopathy or leech treatment or those which are not really proven. Uh, how do we diagnose varicose veins? Varicose veins is diagnosed by doing ultrasound, that is sonography uh, of the veins, where we see the veins like that. And uh, uh, what are the treatment options? The older ways to treat varicose veins were open surgical methods, where we used to cut uh, the vein and remove the vein and stitch. This was called a surgical stripping or doing a laser treatment where we used to burn the veins from the inside. Now that is all gone now. The uh, Those techniques required a lot of local anesthesia to be given. Um, the need for general anesthesia or spinal anesthesia, it increases anesthesia associated risk, especially for the vulnerable patients. Uh, the the uh, Laser or the cutting surgery required compression by, by wearing stockings for compulsorily for six months. And there was again significant procedure related discomfort. So, but uh, now currently the best way to treat varicose veins worldwide is a non thermal ablation. It is called Vena Seal. Vena Seal is a procedure where we do not burn the veins, but we seal them without heating them. So, uh, the and the most the biggest advantage is the less dependency on stockings for closure of the veins. How is it done? I'll be showing a brief video. So this is the vena seal device, and uh, we get the the vena seal uh, you know, cartridges and the, uh, the small bottle with the vena seal glow inside. So this is the vein. Through the vein, we are putting a small. Uh, catheter that comes along with the device. It is placed from the ankle right up to the hip. Uh, once it is placed, a smaller catheter goes inside that. It is a micro catheter. And uh, inside that, we place this uh, very close to the hip. This is all seen under ultrasound guidance. And then we inject the medicine inside the vein. This is the vena seal glue. This is being injected in the veins and uh, the, at various intervals and then we press from top. So when we press from top, the vein is immediately shrunk and uh, in three minutes, the, the glue polymerizes or uh, becomes thick and uh, sticks the vein internally. This, uh, uh, this is done all throughout the length of the vein and uh, this 30 seconds and three minute compression is all it takes to actually cure varicose veins. So you can see that we are closing the veins internally and the glue is uh, becoming uh, you know, thicker and polymerizes. And once we do that, we would just simply remove the catheter from inside and put a small sticking uh, bandaid over there. And uh, that would be it. There is no cutting stitching involved, a small little sticker and uh, the procedure is done most comfortable way to treat varicose veins currently available worldwide and we are so very proud to to, uh, to, to be among the world leaders for this technique and uh, with multiple techniques also invented on how to do vena seal so what is the difference between vena seal and laser so in uh, vena seal we are sticking the vein while laser we are burning the vein in vena seal, there we do not need uh, uh, the anesthesia, local anesthesia, to, to actually close the vein. While uh, in laser, we need multiple pricks along the whole length of the vein. Vena seal is safe for high risk patients, those who have blood pressure, heart disease, or any such other condition where it makes them unfit for anesthesia. But laser requires uh, some anesthesia, a lot of fluid injection that increases the procedure related risk. Vein closure time is instant with vena seal. By laser, it takes weeks. Uh, in vena seal, stockings are needed. A few might need uh, stockings if there are uh, additional therapies done. But otherwise, plain vena seal does not require stockings. In laser, stockings are compulsory. A return to activity with vena seal is immediate, while laser might take days to weeks. So you can see here, this is the immediate pre-procedure and post-procedure uh, ultrasound. Uh, you can see there's such a big vein. And immediately after vena seal, it is all stuck. Uh, again, this is a, a case. This is an elderly lady with impending wound on the leg. 
and uh, she's had a heart operation which uh, makes us uh, she's on blood thinners so we cannot do any operation open surgery for her otherwise that will cause a lot of bleeding we've done vena seal with two pricks and those two pricks uh, were enough to treat the veins from the inside and you can see within seven days only the ulcer is healed again this large varicosities which are uh, almost disappear uh, you know in three hours before and after uh, vena seal uh, so this is vena seal and a plug and foam technique which we invented and a compression biofilm and uh, you can see 45 minutes before and after the veins have disappeared so in special settings now this was my uh, one of my lectures uh, vena seal in special settings which uh, i uh, spoke in the uh, australasian college of phlebology in sydney in this august uh, which we discussed a uh, a technique which we invented this is called the, the combination of glue and sclerotherapy. Now you can see this patient over here, large dilated veins and such round round veins where a straight device will not go through. So how, how we did it is we are going to combine vena seal for the straight veins with sclerotherapy given in the bunch of veins and the junction of these veins is selectively closed with the vena seal. So uh, this is how it looks like, or, you know, uh, one month post procedure, the bunches of veins have all disappeared and uh, there is no cutting stitching all done through one or two pricks and you can see the leg color is also improved and this is an amazing result. So uh, again, there are uh, some patients who have uh, ulcers very close to the ankle which uh, cannot be accessed properly if you do it from the ankle up to the hip. So you can see that there is the uh, the orange uh, you know sheet over here which uh, the initial landing zone about 10 centimeters gets left behind so uh, what we do is in such cases we invert the device that is instead of doing from down to up we do up to down and uh, once we reach there we uh, inject the medicine uh, under the ulcer as well and that helps in ulcer healing which we get faster ulcer healing because of that so uh, this way first we do it downwards and then we do it upward. So the whole length of the vein is straightened. And uh, that way, see, uh, instead of doing conventionally from down to up, where some amount of uh, vein would be left behind, we do it from up to down so that the vein under the ulcer is straightened. Again, pre-procedure. So this, this is a lady which we treated and with this modified method of vena seal. Pre-procedure, you can see those big wounds on the legs and the skin color is very dark. And... Uh, uh, one week post uh, follow up, you can see that darkness is reducing, and uh, six months uh, follow up, you can see that the uh, the wounds have healed. So uh, yes, we are getting some questions in the chat. You can enter your questions in the Q and A box, and I am going to share contact details with you. And uh, if you have any questions, I could I am going to answer them uh, just after finishing this. And we have some uh, frequently asked questions which I am going to answer. So uh, again, this is another technique which one of my mentors from Germany, Dr. Chris Rag, had invented. Uh, so this is this technique is called uh, a plug and foam and a biofilm uh, application. Biofilm is a a uh, transparent compression film. It is like a crepe bandage which is see through and uh, which patients can uh, go for swimming with it, have a bath with it. Should not be an issue. So this stays on for seven days. And uh, we see that those bunches of veins after being treated uh, and we apply the biofilm immediately afterwards. Seven days later, when we remove it, the bunches are gone. So this is again a uh, credit to my uh, mentor, Dr. Chris Rack from Berlin, who uh, I, uh, uh, I had the pleasure of meeting in 2019. So again, uh, this was one of the early versions of biofilm, which we did not have the German biofilm, uh, but still it, it did work. Uh, and uh, this is a example of a, uh, a recurrent venous ulcer. So we also have our award-winning paper from the College of Phlebology London uh, as to why varicose veins come back. So one of the main causes is a, a uh, you know a tactical cause where the operator, uh, if they don't do their own ultrasounds, they can't find act the actual causative vein. So this uncle here had the multiple operations for the front veins, but uh, the veins on the backside were open. So when we did a scan, we found that the backside was vein was open. We treated the backside veins and six months later, the wound is closed. Uh, so again, this is how wounds heal after treatment. Uh, 
and uh, our uh, uh, contact details are this uh, the uh, uh, you can find us on our uh, website wayncenter.in or uh, you can call us on 8080866266 and our uh, our patient coordinators would be glad to to help you i'll be uh, happy to answer any questions and uh, i can also uh, in the meantime if you if, if you can write your questions on the q and a box or there are some uh, questions which i would like to share which are frequently asked so uh, uh, most patients ask us uh, how much bed rest do i need ye treatment karne ke baad mein mujhe kitne kitne din bed rest lagega so there is no actual uh, uh, bed rest required you can walk around immediately uh, after the procedure so vidya is asking uh, if recurrence is there so the uh, recurrence is uh, a reopening of the same treated vein so there is a science of uh, research behind it which tells us that uh, for uh, various procedures there are various different recurrence rates in open surgery where there is cutting and stitching involved the recurrence rate is more than 50 to 60% the older procedures like ligation and stripping they had a very uh, high recurrence rate laser procedures or the burning procedures have a recurrence rate of close to 20% because they required a lot of uh, compression and stockings as compared to that the vena seal recurrence of the same vein is less than 2% because the whole process of closure of the veins it takes place within 3 minutes where the vein is closed instantly on the table you don't have to do too much at home to close it while uh, laser is heavily dependent on wearing stockings for 6 months and then the vein closes reliably uh cashless insurance is there om prakash is uh, uh om prakash is asking us yes uh, uh cashless is there uh, the uh, we do have cashless at most of our locations you can call uh, call our uh, uh our patient coordinators at the number which i which will be there in the chat box Uh, call us on this number which is there in the chat box and our patient coordinators would be able to help you the treatment charges uh, if there are uh, uh, there's no insurance involved uh, for one leg in our mumbai center is 1 lakh 75000 uh, uh, the device is a use and throw device the material is going to be upwards of 1 lakh both the legs together is about 350 but uh, it is covered in insurance and various insurance companies uh, have different uh, coverages private insurance is usually cover it 100% while uh, the government insurance is you can expect close to 70 75% of coverage uh, yes uh, the uh, we do offer cashless uh, facilities but then first we'll have to evaluate your insurance policy send it to the uh, insurance company and um, uh, you know we can we, once the approval comes we can do it Uh, our patient coordinators on that number would be able to tell you uh, whether you need the procedure or not first we need would need to check you do a scan at our own and uh, depending on what we see we would be able to tell you whether you need the procedure or not uh, so the ulcer healing rate so the patients ask how fast would my ulcer heal after the procedure so if the wound is a shallow wound and uh, otherwise the the patient is healthy we can see a uh, improvement within 7 days of the procedure and if it's a small ulcer usually gets better or heals up within uh, uh, within 2 weeks or so for so patients with very large wounds on the legs uh, they might require concurrent plastic surgery uh, so uh, uh, vidya is asking she's gone through laser treatment but didn't get relief i still having edema and uh, use of stockings is it advisable so uh, vidya uh, i would love to see you in the opd or you can visit any of our, if you are not based out of mumbai uh, we have any of our centers if you can visit there our doctors can do a scan and check if the veins are actually closed or not because we want to make sure the, is the edema because the veins are not properly closed or new veins open or there are other factors which can happen and uh, Uh, once we do the scan we will come to know what is the reason behind your problems and if we can tell you if we can help it uh, uh om prakash yes we do have facilities in pune our consultant dr rahul arkar is uh, is a vascular intervention radiologist based out of pune currently we are uh, having our opd in uh, vita life medipoint hospital in pune uh, vidya if the perforators are there they would need to be closed uh you could contact our uh, patient coordinators on the number in the chat 
we can evaluate your reports you can whatsapp your reports to them we can evaluate and uh, we can tell you what to do about it uh, yeah om prakash ji you can uh, 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 schedule an appointment dr rahul is usually available tuesday thursday saturday in uh, uh, in our center in uh, in in aunt this is uh, sanjeevani vita life medipoint hospital and aunt in pune and uh, all our facilities also have pick up and drop services so if you are in the city uh, where you want to see our uh, our doctors we can have a uber pick you up do the procedure do the uh, uh, the consultation and drop you back to your house at no additional charge uh, this is in all the cities where we where we operate out of and with the the perforators if they are there they would need to be closed if we uh, uh, if you have the report or you have the images then we would be able to evaluate you can click a picture of your legs and whatsapp it uh, so uh, in mumbai we are uh, currently functioning in khar and andheri uh, we will shortly open in uh, in washi uh, in the reliance hospital at kopar khairane uh, 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 our own center, the uh, flagship facility is in Khar West, SP Road. That is arguably the best place in the world to treat varicose veins, and we do our own scans. So, if you would like to come over, uh, I mean, I would love to scan and see, and uh, that will give me more insight. Uh, Om Prakash Ji, you can call on eight zero eight zero eight six six two six six. Uh, our patient coordinators. This is a centralized system. They, we have a proper, uh, uh, you know, management system. Also, in addition to just OPDs, uh, we have a backend system where there are five uh, uh, patient coordinators sitting in the call center just to give you appointments at or any any place in India, and uh, they would be able to help you. You can call on that number uh, either today or tomorrow sometime. and uh, they will they will fix an appointment with dr rahul uh, so uh, side effects now the uh, vidya when we are uh, doing the vena seal procedure before doing that we do some pre procedure fitness tests we uh, these fitness tests include uh, to know whether uh, the patient is diabetic or not do you have an ongoing infection or not or is there any heart issue kidney liver issue if the patient is otherwise healthy then uh, there are no real side effects it is an inert substance the uh, uh, the the medicine inside it the vena seal medicine is already used since the 1970s to stop bleeding so in open injuries or in in road side traffic accidents since the 1970s in open surgery wherever there was lot of bleeding this medicine was just poured on the wound in large quantities it used to stop bleeding now it has been modified and refined in a way where it is delivered with a small tube only inside the vein which we want to close and a small amount is in given to close it so it is there since the 1970s vena seal itself is in existence since the past 8 to 10 years uh, worldwide in india it was introduced in 2019 and uh, since 2019 we have done close to 1000 cases without too many real uh, uh, very serious side effects from it uh, if the patient is otherwise healthy if you uh, if you do not have uh, a uh, a rheumatoid arthritis or any such underlying uh, allergy uh, conditions then uh, usually it doesn't have any adverse effects as such but uh, uh, we would like to evaluate from patient to patient uh you uh yeah i mean uh, we could have a, a talk if the patient is in known case of rheumatoid arthritis of any or any connective tissue disorder then uh, uh, we can do a a vena seal patch test where we put a drop of vena seal on the forearm and cover it with a transparent film and observe it for 7 days uh, once we uh, uh, we can see whether the patient is uh, allergic to the medicine or not uh yeah of course you can google it uh, we, i mean uh, there are patient reports uh, online this is a uh, i mean uh, whatever i am telling you are is independently verifiable on uh, uh, on research gate or uh, you know on uh, um, on google with scientific papers uh, the uh, i mean uh, you could go ahead and and, and do that uh, the if you would want to come and have a face to face discussion you are most welcome and uh, well uh, 
it was uh, nice talking to to you all and uh, we would uh, be uh, we would love to welcome you in the opd and uh, have a face to face discussion with you if you have anything which we can um, answer online please uh, drop us your messages meet our patient coordinators and we can help you with your appointments and such things uh, thank you all for attending and uh, hope you have a, a, a good new year ahead thank you thank you bye bye